All right, what's going on, everybody? Another installment of Everyone Hates Tesla. Nothing new for these streets. It looks like we're going down to the mean streets of Oklahoma today because these guys are angry. Like, why are you? This is crazy. Like, the reason why I started this is so I can just show you guys the types of stuff that a company has to go through these days. Tesla fights back against Oklahoma politicians trying to shut down its stores, guys. Come on. Now, if this doesn't scream, everyone hates Tesla. I don't know what does. Tesla is asking its fans for help fighting back against Oklahoma's politicians trying to shut down its stores in the state. Tesla has had to jump through hoops to operate in the state. And for years, the state legislator has been pushing laws to try to prevent Tesla from selling its vehicles to customers in the state. If you guys don't know, Tesla sells their vehicles directly to the customer versus dealing with the traditional auto or car dealerships. So they don't deal with car dealerships or have car dealerships. It's just directly straight from the company. It's like when you guys go buy an iPhone. You don't buy it from a third party. You buy it straight from Apple, from the store. It's that simple, right? There's no haggle. There's no sleazy salesperson trying to do this and do that. It's just, boom, that's the flat price. We're buying it. We're out. In 2022, we reported on Tesla reaching out to his fans to try countering a new bill being considered in the state's House Business and Commerce Committee. I don't think that committee is about business. They're not about commerce. They're about being socialist. <laughs> the bill was so wide reaching that Tesla feared it will go as far as preventing its push from pushing software updates over the air to its current fleet. Like, come on, guys. Really? Tesla had to compromise and operate its stores as galleries in the state. It's a strategy that the automaker has implemented in states where they still have laws preventing direct sales of cars by automakers. Just to create these types of industries, which are car dealerships traditionally, right? Creating jobs creating another level of economics when you add in a car dealership and automakers couldn't sell directly to the customers. So it created more jobs and more opportunities and more businesses. But we're going in a different direction now. We got to update it, all right? We got to make it make sense now, right? BYD and other competitors internationally, they're allowed to go straight to their customer. We need the same opportunities too. We need to increase our efficiency. And galleries don't process sales. And customers have to go through the Tesla website, but Tesla employees at those stores slash galleries can talk to the customers about Tesla products and do test drives. Now, two Republicans, come on, man, right? You conservatives always be talking about, y'all got all the answers. Like, man, conservatives, they're, 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 they're pro-capitalism. These two Republican state legislators are even trying to shut that down. House Representatives Mike Lane and then Senator Rogers Lane have introduced new bills that Tesla believes could force them to close those galleries. And Tesla wrote in a communication to the local owners and fans. And then champion bills SB 2022 and HB 3104, detrimental bills that could jeopardize Tesla's ability to continue to operate in the galleries of Oklahoma, are currently being considered by the state legislator if passed these bills could put Tesla locations and Oklahoma jobs at risk. This proposal will ban educational and informational activities about Tesla and his products. What in the galaxy? Man, that is some anti-capitalist stuff if I have ever seen it. Man, that is anti-American. That is anti-freedom of life, right? Yesterday, the Senate voted 10 to three for bill and Tesla is encouraging his fans to contact their legislators to vote down the bill in the house. See guys, this is why your jobs disappear. This is why companies offshore, they don't do business inside of America and it's States because this is the nonsense. This is the nonsense that happens and goes on. They're attempting to act as if they are speaking on the behalf of the people, which they always act like they're doing that. And it's funny because they're constituents and their people are some of the most disgruntled people in all of human history. <laughs> and they take this approach to like stop the educational and informational activities about Tesla and his products. How do you even do something like that? Like that is ridiculous. How do you even enforce something like that? 
from the state's perspective? Like, how are you going to implement enforcing that we can't even share information and educational information and activities about Tesla and his products? Electrica's take. I hate this uncompetitive thing so much. This money in politics. You want to hear a good one? You will never believe what the author of the bill, Mike, used to do for a living. He and his family used to own a car dealership. Wild coincidence. Car dealerships are trying to abuse old laws put in place to protect them against their own car manufacturers to stifle fair competition. That's all it is, guys. Stifling fair competition, economic warfare, guys. So you guys always think about the warfare that goes on in Iraq and et cetera. It's an economic warfare that goes on with companies and commerce and competition. And in competition, they're attempting to leverage the state to favor them and favor them in the name of protecting car dealerships. And he used to own car dealerships, and I'm sure he still has interests or networks and connections with said car dealerships. And I guess he thinks he's doing the right thing. We don't know. But all I do know is when it plays out in the macro, it's really reducing the level of competition. And we have to compete not only with American companies, we have to compete on an international level. Our tariffs are not even high. So vehicles that are imported into America from across the world don't have to possibly deal with the same restrictions that they operate under in their own respective countries. Old laws were put in place to protect franchise dealerships against automakers trying to compete with the people who invested a lot of money into providing a sales and service workforce for them. It made a lot of sense. But now those same laws are being used to prevent Tesla and other new automakers who never had franchise dealerships from competing against dealers who sell vehicles from other automakers. It's being used in an anti-competitive way. And think about it, guys. What does this mean for you? It means that the bill is going to be passed on to you. Car dealerships want to sit there and play this game of haggling with you and attempt to make more money for themselves, for them doing I don't know what, because the company already provides the information and educational activities to familiarize customers with the said product. But these guys want to insert themselves in a bridge in between and launch their propaganda campaign. And also, Tesla needs their actual galleries and stores because they don't only sell EVs, electrical vehicles, but they sell also electrical batteries with the power on, et cetera. We can't put those in dealerships. Now we have to create galleries and stores just for the battery component, just for the solar component. It's ridiculous, but it could be sold inside the car dealership with the galleries in the stores that Tesla currently operates. And so their model of doing business, all they're looking to do is to get a piece of the pie. And okay, shout outs to you. You're going to play your role. We're going to play ours, right? This is why we cover stories like this. You're going to play your role as a hater. You're going to play a role as fake competition, obsolete competition. And then you're going to attempt to stop us from conducting business. Okay, this is the game we're going to be playing. Roger that. But see, this is where the quote unquote, the people need to stand up in the name of innovation. In the name of innovation, in the name of commerce and keeping the landscape competitive, this is where we vote for what our dollars. This is where we vote with our actual vote, right? And worry about what we do politically, but also what we do economically and what we do informational wise. So I'm combating via information by doing this coverage and pointing out this hating mentality. These haters with conflict of interest, right? They're trying to protect you. I highly doubt it. Several states have changed those direct sale laws in order to avoid the misuse that gave a monopoly on car sales to third-party dealers. Exactly. These guys got a monopoly now. It's like you can't create no car without us pushing it. Like, what? You can't. You make your own product. Imagine if you started your own business, guys, and you made your own product. And then you're like, wow, I'm going to go sell it to the people now. And they're like, no, you're not. You got to go through us. You got to sell it to us at a, at a specific wholesale rate. Then we're going to take it and flip your product and try to put all these crazy price tags on it. Now the customers are going to be looking at the product you created and saying, well, I don't want to buy your product because I don't know what the real price is. I'm getting haggled. I don't know. I got to negotiate. You trying to get paid commission. You trying to get a yacht. You trying to go to Aruba. 
So when I go buy your product from these dealerships or these stale points, I don't know what the real value is. I'm just being haggled. There's some negotiation. I look in your mind and you don't look back. And then I don't smile and I'm not happy. Like I just messes up the whole experience, man. I especially for just average people who just want to go buy a product and get going. Nobody got time to be playing your little haggling games and you playing with the fair price and what the markup is. And come on, man. But there are still some misuse out there and efforts from dealers associations and which have a lot of power in state politics to outlaw direct sales. Don't let them fool you. And shout outs for Electrica for writing this article and providing this information. But guys, if this is not proof that everybody hates Tesla, then I don't know what is. I want to see the comments if we can go down to the section, see what the people are saying. Free market. My left foot. Exactly. This is protectionism at its worst. Corporations are not people. Do not get free speech and do not get the bribe politicians in a proper democracy. There is no other way this law can be explained except as this legislator being bought and paid for in a DA. That's what one user says. DH Grant says. Oklahoma will lose this game in the long run when everyone is going across state lines to buy their vehicles, give give it enough time. But it still hurts to think that they want this in the first place. Not not surprised coming from that guy and what he used to do. Right. ZT says, I don't. Right, here we go. I do not usually agree with Musk and Tesla, but in this type of case, I fully support their fight against Antarctic laws and corrupt politicians who work for their business supporters and not the regular Americans, right? Like our regular Americans would like to gain access to an EV without complications of back in wheeling, stealing, and dealing. Like that's ridiculous, guys. I just want to go buy the car. I don't want to be sitting up here wheeling, stealing, and dealing and playing games with this salesperson. Like I don't care. All right. We got a doula out here playing games with me and I'm just trying to get my car and, and get the moving. Right. Eric G says they should just pull a play out of their old playbook from Connecticut, close the existing galleries and open up on tribal land <laughs> like they did. And this is the extent it has to go to. They have to go to tribal land. Shout out to the Native Americans. They have to go to tribal lands in order to start selling and pushing product because the Native Americans want to do business. Right. The tribes want to get get busy. They want to do capitalism, right? The tribes are like, hey, look, those guys over there in the state of Oklahoma or whatever, they don't want to do business, we'll do business. And bypassing state laws, making money for tribes and Tesla while letting customers have what they want, bypassing these ancient rules, these ancient rules, right? They're very old. And they're, and they're leveraging, of course, in their favor. And it's no surprise there, guys. So they're going to play their role and we must play ours. And there are for free markets and customer choice until they aren't exactly until it doesn't favor them. Not until they aren't. It's a specific thing. When it doesn't favor them, that's when they're not. I worked at a dealership, not Tesla. Now I've been in this business for a total of 28 years from 1988 to 1995 and 2004 to 2011. And again, from 2016 till now, which is 2024. In my opinion, this is just one more nasty thing. And that the right is doing, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's just because Tesla is an EV company. So the left, the right, this is the right, guys. So I'm not lefty or right, but this is where I'm talking about. The rights act like they come in the name of capitalism, free market, fair competition, and freedom of speech. They're a bunch of liars, too. I don't rock with both of them are liars. Like, get up out of here. But dudes go back and forth all day representing each gang. And they both they both hip, hypocrites at the end of the day. But people don't acknowledge it. They start putting on the gang tattoo and get it tattooed to Republican on their chest and they start repping them and not knowing they're just as corrupt as the next person. Shout out to everybody who wrote in the comment section and spoke about this. This is an interesting article. And like I say, if you actually happen to stay in this place called OK, then all right, man, go ahead, check out the legislation, figure it out, depending on where you come at on this. You know, maybe you want to speak for the dealerships. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just dislike Tesla and dislike Elon so much that you dislike Tesla, right? There's employees there. They got nothing to do with Elon Musk. They just work. But net net, you guys just love the hate. 
on Tesla. So shout outs to everybody. I greatly appreciate your time. Until the next one, we'll keep this one short and brief. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. peace.